on this day when I got to share with you the breaking news that my old boss is now my new boss again, that I'm now a presidential appointee on the National Security Education Board. Thank you, President Trump. It is an honor. I could not imagine a better guest to have on the show today than a man who stood by me fearlessly when I was in the White House, when I was being attacked, when the smear machine of the left was engaged. This person stood in the breach. He's a great American. He's a friend of this nation. He's a friend of Israel. He is the president of ZOA, the Zionist Organization of America. I am honored to call him a friend, Morton Klein. Welcome oh. back to America First. Thank you. It's great to be with Dr. Gorka, one of the great fighters for freedom and liberty and truth and justice in this country. So it's, I'm honored to be able to call you my friend. Well, that's too kind. Follow this man right now on Twitter, Morton A. Klein 7. Morton A. Klein 7. Uh, we've been discussing from the top of the show. We're going to discuss it with our next guest, Horace uh, Cooper, what is happening on the streets of America, what's happening in New York, where you are, the Black Lives Movement. Talk to us about how cancel culture and the new anti-Semitism of the left has affected you and your colleagues, Mort. It's amazing. The cancel culture of lies and, and, dis, uh, and destruction has come to the Jewish communal world. When I saw that Black Lives Matter organization, the group, was gaining visibility, credibility, and legitimacy, and they were going to be influencing young blacks to hate Israel and Jews because of their platform, I spoke out. The platform of Black Lives Matter says Israel is committing genocide against the Arabs, which is amazing since there were 200,000 Arabs in Israel in 1948. Today there's 2 million. It's a hell of a genocide program. It's, I call it reverse genocide. Reverse, right, reverse, right. <laughs> they call Israel an apartheid state, even though 15% even though of, the, of the Knesset, the parliament in Israel, are Arabs. That's a hell of an apartheid state. They support boycotting Israel. They say Israel is stolen Palestinian land. They, they uh, praise terrorist groups like the PFLP, they say Zionism at its core is white supremacy. And by the way, it's not only Israel. They're not only called to cut all aid to Israel. They call to end the police departments, end the U.S. military, end capitalism, but give reparations to Libya and Iraq, two terrorist regimes, uh, and end the global war on terrorism, and end the nuclear family. They don't want nuclear families, and children should be allowed to choose all their own genders. These are Marxists who want to destroy America, who hate Israel and Jews. By the way, the only country in the world they criticize is Israel, the Jewish state. They don't criticize Saudi Arabia or Somalia or Libya or Iran, nothing. So this is terrible anti-Semitism. I wrote articles calling them out as anti-Semites and Israel haters and America haters and, for simply t and, and citing their platform in writing. I've had 16 Jewish groups, major and minor, the Reform Jewish Movement, the Conservative Jewish Movement, uh, the Jew Jewish women's groups, and the far left-wing groups like J Street and Trua and Peace Now, publicly condemning me as a racist and a bigot and promoting hate. In other words, my calling out a group for their promoting hate and racism against Jews makes me a racist. If I condemn David Duke's racism against blacks and Jews, does that make me a racist? This is irrational absurdity. I, well, let, let, me, let me interject here because, you know, we're going back to Israel this December. <laughs> I, I've been to Israel many, many times. Where, when you go there, you are in, in such a, a, a tiny island of normalcy, of tranquility. <laughs> I've traveled the Middle East. I, I've been to South Asia. When you get to Israel, you see people of every color on the streets. You see Jews who have been saved from Africa, black Jews. You see people from every ethnicity, every, every, every creed on the streets in parliament. Did you ever see, did you ever expect we would be where we are today, where anti-Semitism is so part and parcel of left-wing politics as it is under the current Democrat party? I am a child of Holocaust survivors, born to two parents who survived the concentration camps. I was born in Europe, in Germany. I thought the Holocaust ended any significant anti-Semitism. It's now rearing its ugly head, but combined with anti-Israelism and, and, and racist against whites. So all these hatreds are emerging at the same time. Never thought 
this could ever uh, be possible. And yet what's happened is these Marxists, they openly say we are Marxist, and if you don't, we don't get what we want, the Black Lives Matter leaders say we will destroy America. And, you know, even Elon Omar last week said we have to destroy our economic system and political system. A member of Congress who was saved by America is now publicly condemning America. Yeah. This is just uh, shocking, but I'll tell you, one of the heroes that are speaking out is Alan Dershowitz, who's publicly said, I will defend more clients in way, legally and politically, because this uh, racist, anti-Semitic group, Black Lives Matter, no one should deal with them until they renounce their blood libels and their lies. Let me, let <laughs> me, let me, thought... let me, let me, let me just add here. So, um, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Greatest nation made by man is America. Greatest nation made by God is Israel. You are the president of ZOA. I want people to support you at zoa.org. In the last minute we have with you, Mort, what, what should average Americans, Christian, Jewish, what should they be doing in the face of this new anti-Semitism in our nation? <laughs> well, they should be certainly writing short letters to their members of Congress, the members of the House and Senate, telling them to condemn the racist anti-Semites, anti-whites in Congress, like Rashida Tlaib of Michigan, Ilan Omar of Minnesota, uh, AOC of Queens, New York, they should be saying these people must be called out. What's happened is these terrible lies against America, whites, and Jews is being mainstreamed by members of Congress, and people are afraid to condemn them. Pelosi and Schumer has refused to condemn them for their anti-Semitism, their hatred of America. So we need people to write to the members of Congress, say, call these people out. America is a wonderful country, and we do, cannot allow this type of hatred against America and Jews and whites to be moving in this direction. Uh, but we don't have major people condemning these people, uh, and they have to hear from all of us. And someone like you, Dr. Gorka, even having this uh, program where we talk about it is a very important step for people to know. And if they go to our website, zoa.org, they'll learn the details about all the things you and I are uh, talking about. God bless you. Keep doing what you do. The website is zoa.org. He is the president a fighter for freedom and the truth, fighting the anti-Semitism we thought we had destroyed in 1945. Follow him right now on Twitter at Morton A. Klein 7. Thank you, my friend. This is America First on the Salem Radio Network, back with Horace Cooper in studio here on the Salem Radio Network.